Good day, grade 2 pupils. We are in third quarter of your English subject, week 6. This is Teacher Jaja, your online teacher for the topic, major points and key themes. In this lesson, you are expected to identify major points and key themes. Every story has different elements. It has characters, settings, and events. These significant details play important roles in understanding the story. Aside from these story elements, stories also give specific major points and key themes. As a reader, it is necessary that you are able to identify the major points and key theme shown in each story. The major point or main idea is the main point of a paragraph in a story. When summarizing a paragraph, it is most likely a one-sentence major point. Meanwhile, the key themes are facts or statements that bind the main ideas of the story. They provide the central idea of the whole story. In every story, our goal is to get or understand its major point. In coming up with the key theme, you have to take note of the major or main ideas. Let us read a short story entitled, The Studious Pupil. Anthony is a studious pupil. He performs well in school. He gets good grades in almost all of his subjects. In school, he listens well to his teacher. He also actively participates in class discussions. At home, he reads a lot of books during his free time. He also does his assignments. He prepares his projects before the deadline. He studies well to serve as a good example to other pupils. He also wants to achieve his dream someday. The selection tells us that Anthony is a studious pupil as he studies well in school and at home. This is our major point. Meanwhile, it also tells that studying well can help one get good grades and be successful in life. This is our key theme. Okay, so before we answer our learning task on this topic, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also click the notification bell so you can be updated with our video lessons. Here's our first learning task on page 30. You may pause this video while answering the activities and you may write your answers on the comment box below. Learning task number 1 on page 30, read the paragraph below, then answer the questions that follow. Write the letters of your answers in your paper. I will read the paragraph and then you may pause the video if you want to read it too. This is entitled, My Cat. I have a cat named Floppy. I taught her lots of tricks. When I call her, she comes to me immediately. She also massages my back even if I don't tell her to. When I say sleep, she will close her eyes and pretend to be sleeping. I couldn't believe that a cat like her would be that smart. Let us answer the questions. Number 1. What is the major point of the paragraph? A. Flappy is a cat. B. Flappy can do tricks. Letter C. Flappy is a smart. Next question, what is the best key theme of the story? A. Cats are smart animals. B. Cats are tricky animals. And letter C. Cats are sleepy animals. For our learning task number 2 on page 30, read each paragraph then identify what each item tells. Write the letters of your answers in your paper. Number 1. Carabaos help farmers in plowing the field. They give us milk and meat. The story is about A. Farmers B. Carabaos C. Meat
Number two, Emma and Roy go to school every day. After school, they help their parents in doing household chores. Emma washes the dishes while Roy sweeps the floor. The paragraph is about the A. Honest children B. Helpful children or Letter C. Polite children For our learning task number 3 on page 31, read the paragraphs, then identify the theme and main idea in each story. Write the letters of your answers in your paper. This is entitled, The Bots. Some kinds of bots eat many insects. Some bots can eat up to 1,000 small insects in one hour. They are helpful to the environment. They'll help us by eating insects. Without them, we would have many insects in the environment. Number 1 question. What is the major point of the story? A. Bots are mammals. B. Bots can eat up to 1,000 insects in one hour. Letter C. Bots help in controlling the population of insects. Number 2. What is the key theme of the story? A. Bats eating habits. Letter B. Bats favorite food. And letter C. Bats contribution to nature. We have the second paragraph entitled Cold Weather. One day, Hannah walked outside with her small pink jacket. But even if she was wearing one, she still felt very cold. She looked at her phone and noticed that it was 15 degrees outside. It was indeed cold due to a mihan. She was chilling. So she decided to go back inside. Question. What is the major point of the story? A. It was very cold outside. Letter B. She wore a pink jacket. Letter C. Hannah went outside with her friends. Next, what is the key theme of the story? A. Cold weather makes us sleepy. Letter B. Cold weather tells us to wear jacket. Or letter C. Cold weather prevents us from going outside. And for our last activity, in your paper, complete the paragraph by selecting your answers from the choices below. The choices are elements, major points, and key themes. The blank of a story deal with what the story is all about. Meanwhile, the blank explains the central idea that the story tells. These two planks are both important in understanding a story or selection. We're done with our lesson for English Week 6. Thank you for listening. Keep safe. Bye-bye.